Dolo's law. Evolution is irreversible. Hi. So today we are going to learn some rules of evolutionary biology. Evolutionary biology, to understand that, we need to come with the first question. What is evolution? Evolution is a change in characteristic of any species over a specific over several time periods and several generations too. What does that mean? It means the air, the water, the atmosphere, everything around us is changing. And because it is changing, it provides necessary stimuli for organisms to evolve in that environment. We can say as nothing is permanent, this change is also progressive. To give you an example, look at ourselves. What are we? We are Homo sapiens. We weren't that 5 million years ago. But today, evolutionary changes have brought us to, have brought us to become Homo sapiens. Well, let's say you got the gist of the term evolution. Let's move forward to a rule. Okay? Now, let's see the next slide. I can get it. Yes. Rules in evolutionary biology. Dolo's law, Gauss's rule, Cop's rule, parallelism, convergence, adaptive radiation, and mosaic evolution. Out of all these three, what we are all these many, what we are going to learn is Dolo's law. To simplify Dolo's law for you, we can say evolution is irreversible. Now, what does that mean? As you all know, we, we've been through phases like glaciation, ice age, interglaciation and today's present atmosphere. What has happened is evolution has taken place. If you look around 5 million years ago to 10 million years ago, we had Australopithecus. Australopithecus was an early form of the Homo sapiens who lived in a very different environment. Then came the Homo erectus, who was living in a better environment or a different environment. And now, 10,000 years earlier, ago, we have the Homo sapiens on Earth and we live in a totally different environment. Hence, we can see that every organism needs different evolutionary, or, uh, sorry, different environments to evolve. So, we saw the Australopithecus, then the Homo erectus and today the Homo sapiens. What does this tell you? It tells you that multitude factors are responsible for evolution. And if today, if today the atmosphere is changed, it is back to the time period of the Australopithecus or back to the time period of the Neanderthal or the Homo erectus, we as Homo sapiens do not change. The organism which has already evolved will not go back to its original form. Hence proved that evolution is irreversible, which is exactly what your Dolo's law states. Hence concluding that Dolo's law means evolution is irreversible. I hope you all have got a fair idea of this evolutionary, uh, evolutionary biology concept. And if you like more, we'll definitely see you again. Thank you.